Hello folks, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. In this video, there's not going to be any coding or anything, you just get to listen to this guy babbling on about MVC for a short while. I want to do a little video and talk about MVC and why it's time to move on from MVC. This is part of the series on PHP from intermediate to advanced, and I think that this is information that is probably worth uh, dishing out, you know? So, MVC, as I'm sure you know, Model View Controller, right? So what's the idea here? We've got the M model, that's for handling data. There's a little bit of ambiguity, by the way, about how that should work exactly. Then we've got the V, that's where the HTML stuff goes, the views. And then we've got C for the controller file. That's where the logic goes, that's where our PHP code goes, at least when we're doing any sort of PHP thing, right? Um, that particular architecture is incredibly popular among the PHP community, perhaps even dominant, but it's an architecture that has had its day. And it's funny because all these years later, there's still debate about what the best way to structure an app is. Now, I'm not going to lecture you on my own way or anything like that, but I think it's healthy to have an awareness of how we got here. So I've looked at a few times, I've tried to look up the history of MVC and of all the different ways that you can build an app, how did that end up being the most popular one? Information on this is incredibly sketchy, but as far as I can tell, Steve Jobs and his team at Next played a huge part in this. The information is not entirely clear, but my own research suggests that the Next team uh, used MVC and that was where it pretty much got its reputation for being the best thing since sliced bread. Now, MVC is good. Certainly an improvement on just let's all make it up as we go along. But there's a, a very, well, there's a handful of very obvious problems with MVC and it's time to move on from MVC. There are a few thumbs downs already and that's absolutely fine. That's what happens when you are the web developer extraordinaire and when you say things that nobody else says. But just to state the obvious, websites and web applications have become incredibly complex, especially since about 2015. Now, everybody's using things like JSON files, for example, to perhaps define API endpoints. Where does that fit in with MVC? Think about it. Where does, where does, where does a JSON file or a YAML file or something like that fit in with the M and the V and the C? Do you know? Because I don't. And then there's other challenges. If you have all of your apps divided up into M's and V's and C's, this makes things incredibly difficult to port over to new websites. So for example, let's imagine you've got an online discussion forum and the online discussion forum has perhaps got uh, a database with users and comments and stuff like that. Okay, so we can have that in the M's, right? So we got a folder called models and we got all of that stuff. Let's imagine you've got this views folder and it has tables and little comments forms and all of that. That's fantastic. So we've got another folder, right? Then we've got our controllers folder and in that there might be uh, PHP code to send an email when there's been a response to a topic or something like that, right? So congratulations, you genius. You divided your site up between these three folders, the M, the V and the C, and you've got your discussion forum and everything's beautiful. Then, a few weeks later, you decide to build an invoicing system. So what do you do? You break your invoicing system up into those three <laughs> folders. You say, okay, well, we've got the M, invoice items and so on, client list, we've got the V, that might be the invoice forms or the uh, even potentially PDFs or something. Then you've got the Cs. And then you add another feature and another and another. And every time you add a feature, you're breaking it up three ways, right? Just like a Mercedes symbol. And then what happens six months down the line when you build another site and the other site needs an invoicing system or a discussion forum? And you say, oh, well, I've built that before. 
Now, what are you doing now? You're having to fish around between three folders. You know, digging around. You find this little thing that says send email, a file, and you're saying, hang on, was that send email for the invoices? Was it for the forum or was it for both? And you can see that everything becomes incredibly confusing. And this is the kind of thing that I've lost a lot of sleep over. There are lots of categories that I cannot think of where the thing would go in the M, the V or the C. Another problem is that, let's go back to the discussion forum. Let's assume that you have a discussion forum and you want the comments to be displayed in a table with um, a black border and with a font size of so many pixels and that's what you want and that's that's how you want this styled. Maybe you want the buttons a certain way. Or maybe you've even got some JavaScript. Like, um, for example, if somebody creates a comment, maybe you want a little modal pops up on the screen. Who knows? Well, again, it's very difficult to see how MVC can handle that. I think that we're struggling to fit this into MVC. More than that, we have a whole bunch of dilemmas that show up. For example, when we somehow transport our discussion forum across, where does the JavaScript go? Does it go in the public folder? Or does it somehow follow a folder about for the discussion forum? How about the CSS? Do we break it all up? Anyway, there are a million and one things that I could go on and talk about, all of which point towards the undeniable conclusion that MVC has been good. I've used MVC over many years, but it's time to move on from MVC. I would suggest we go for a modular system. A modular system means that if you have a discussion forum, you, by the way, module is a fancy word for a bunch of folders, right? So if you have a discussion forum, have it in a folder called discussion forum or discussion forums and grab it and paste it across and it all works. That's the promised land, in my opinion. Now I've been saying this since about 2011 and for many, many years, people were not listening. Lately, it seems that people are starting to listen and that's kind of exciting. So when it comes to frameworks, if we're talking about a modern framework and a framework that's going to be fast and bleeding edge, I would encourage you to move away from MVC towards a modular system where things can be easily loaded or moved from one site to another. Okay, 